Thursday. That means we have a vet on hand to answer your pet questions. So if you have a problem with your pet, the number to call is 460-KJRH. And as always, it's Dr. Joe Landers to answer your questions. And he's maybe brought along the cutest dog <laughs> he's ever brought in to our show today. Really this, cute. This is a cute little dog. Now, I do know this is part lab because they said the mom was a lab. But, but he's been crossed with something because he's got white on him. And some of them have brindle. And one of them's even tan. There, we got three of the puppies. There was a litter of them. So uh, really good little dog. He's getting a little tired right now. He's been, he gets riled <laughs> He seems up, a little so sleepy. Full disclosure, he's, he's absolutely a He's lot, sort of moving uh, like a turtle. So yeah, it might be well, a good name. Yeah, yeah. I bet it's, he's, he's not, no, there's no turtle in him. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, he's usually a little bit more absolutely, uh, rambunctious. Absolutely. It's about nap time here. He's, uh, but he's a good little dog. He's about six weeks old. Um, he's over at Heritage Veterinary Hospital which is 918-627-8575 uh, or at animalaid.org on the net. So. Okay, and the uh, number at Animal Aid is 744-8280 or as Dr. Joe said, animalaid.org. Let's go to the phones and first up today we have Deanne in Sand Springs. Good morning. Uh, What's your question? Yeah, uh, I have a miniature dachshund that's getting ready to have puppies. Uh -huh. And I'm feeding your puppy food and uh -huh. vitamins. Yep. Is there anything else I need to do? Nope, that's, I mean, that's, that's the good thing. Uh, you need that in the third trimester, which, which uh, dogs only have about a 63-day uh, 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 gestation period. So a lot of times it's just the last couple of weeks of, of that. So, but yeah, that's what, that's what I kind of suggest. And of course, the other deal that I'll do is I'll tell people, if you know when she got bred, about 58, 59 days later, you need to start taking her temperature. Because a lot of times about 24 hours beforehand, it will actually go down and then come back up. And normals between 100 and 102. So get her used to having her temperature taken. So. All right, let's go to Sam in Broken Arrow. Good morning, Sam. Morning. Hi. Hi, I've got a 16-year-old uh, male rescue cat. He's uh -huh. got my long hair. He is losing the hair off his tail, and we've had him in, and they've cultured it, and we've mm -hmm. given him antibiotic shots, yep. and given him Xenoquin. And he's 16 years old, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. And okay. it doesn't really seem to be bothering him, but yep. it bothers us. Yeah, sometimes I'll, I'll tell people, I mean, and I ask 16 again because I want to make sure, but, and, and, and not that it's normal to have hair loss necessarily, but sometimes when you get older, that kind of happens. They'll have where their hair doesn't grow back as good or whatever. <laughs> Um, you know, it sounds like they're doing the right things there. Uh, you can always kind of do a skin biopsy and stuff and, and have them. Uh, there's a dermatologist here in town. You want to talk to your veterinarian again. A lot of times if there's nothing that's really uh, red and raw and, and oozing, uh, then you're, you're probably, it may be something that's kind of normal, but have them look at that again. It, it's not normal for 16-year-old cats to bald, kind of like I'm balding, but, but, but a lot of times they will, uh, they will have some patchy hair loss that doesn't yeah, come back yeah. real good. So. Or just use some Rogaine, huh? Absolutely. Good work. <laughs> no, uh, no next work. up, we got Bonnie in Tulsa. Good morning, Bonnie. Good morning. Hi. I have an 11-year-old small poodle. Mm -hmm. I got all excited and jumped out of my car. Oh, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's been a week ago. And at first, she didn't seem to be hurt. We right. rubbed her leg. Yep. And she didn't yelp and everything. But she limped. Yep. And she's still limping. Yep. And she doesn't put the foot down very much. Yep. Just occasionally. Yep. Should we have her seen yep. by vet? Absolutely. You know, if they, I'll tell people if they, if they sprain or strain a little bit, you know, it's just a few days and they'll be putting it back down. But if it's been a whole week, you probably do need to get uh, in there and get that and get that seen. So and have that X-ray because she may have she may have broken something. So and the sooner you get that fixed, the the better it'll be. So. Sure. All right. So again, if you'd like to adopt a turtle here, call Animal Aid at 918-744-8280 or log on to animalaid.org. Dr. Landers is here every Thursday to answer your pet questions. If if you missed any of today's segment, you can go to KJRH.com and click on the Lifestyle tab to watch it again. Learn about other pets who need homes and find out more about Heritage Veterinary Hospital.